welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel hi my name is moba and i'm here to chit chat with you if you're a genuine subscriber thank you so much for coming back we are currently at 575 79 579 subscribers and the goal for this year is a thousand subscribers um this was last year's goal as well but i mean we didn't get there but anyways we soldier on we move on we keep on hoping that we get to that goal okay so as you can see from the title of this video today we're going to be talking about what are the plans for 2023 so uh, in my previous video i did mention that i'm going to start uploading videos on wednesdays and saturdays and the reason is because i want to have a structure to my channel um which also benefits me myself and i and you guys the viewers okay so um i just decided like i don't want to niche down the channel to a point where the other subscribers feel like they're being left out and everything because people subscribe to my channel for different reasons um i used to do hair videos makeup videos um vlogs um those type of videos so on one side you get to see me just getting ready on the other side you get to see what i'm up to or you get to know me um, a little bit more um, so yeah I decided that I would rather satisfy everyone than just a certain group of people so Wednesdays are gonna be hair videos and um, and then Sundays are gonna be vlogs so you guys can comment down below what type of stuff you want to see so I can do like um, skincare routines or um, pumper sessions or going to a new restaurant those type of videos that's the content that you're gonna expect on Sundays um, and then yeah Wednesdays is just gonna be hair treatments different hairstyles although I did mention in my previous video as well that I'm going to slow down on the hairstyling and focus more on the hair growing in terms of like the health and me growing back some patches in my hair like for me the most sensitive part is my edges so i want to just take care of my hair to a point that i can see improvement and i will excuse me i will still style my hair once in a while just not as often as i used to yeah so now that all of that is out of the way let's focus on the topic of today so today i decided that i was just going to read a few of these to you guys i don't know if you guys remember but last year at the beginning of the year um there was a trend that was going on where people were writing down things that they're grateful for and then placing it in this jug and then the idea was that you had to read it um at the end of the year i think i also recorded a video where i was actually writing some of these and i placed them in here and i did mention that i was going to read them um so i did i did read them um off camera but then i thought like okay maybe let me just read some of the stuff so i can share with you guys so that you can realize that um the things that you need to be grateful for don't even have to be like massive you know what i'm saying because i was literally just writing anything that made me excited and i would write it down and um throw it in here so i'm gonna read a few of these to you guys those that i feel like i don't want to share on camera i will not um but yeah so i will begin okay so the first one says painted kelvin's birthday self-portrait so um kj is my boyfriend and some of you guys are familiar with him because you've seen a few videos of him um so i decided to take painting um a little bit you know more seriously last year and i will insert some of the paintings that i did and then for his birthday i decided that i was going to paint him a self-portrait so that's why i wrote that down because i was so excited and although they do not look like identical but you can see that i made an effort and i mean i'm not an expert so this to me was amazing like i did the things and no one can tell me otherwise okay <laughs> the next one is oh yeah this is so perfect because the next one says started painting more often and i love that for me because painting is so therapeutic you guys if you've never tried painting please do it um if you don't have maybe enough money to get actual paint like acrylic um paint you can also start with coloring crayons are maybe not going to be as pricey 
uh, I'm not so sure but yeah just look at your options and then just consider um, art therapy because it does the things that it needs to be doing okay and with this world that we live in we all need that quiet time where we just um, paint our thoughts because one thing that people don't realize is uh, what you're feeling can be shown on paper without you even realizing did you know that now you know <laughs> oh this is amazing so this one says Alice is releasing her book soon this is great and I was so excited about this because um, Alice is my sister that advocates for mental health awareness and she does that through her art so last year she added author to her titles she's now an author she has a book I'm gonna insert it right here and this book is something that I still need to get my hands on it's already an essay but it's in Pretoria and I'm in PE so I'm gonna get it um, when I get it yeah so that was amazing the next one is got an interview from a civil engineering company so i wrote this down because this was such an amazing thing like it was such an achievement you guys and i was so grateful i was grateful because um job hunting is difficult we all know that struggle so just getting an interview from a certain company made me so excited and i was grateful for that okay that one i cannot read to you guys <laughs> personal reasons okay oh I work I started working out slowly um, the reason why I said slowly was because I was not rushing into the working out thing um, as some of you may know I have always liked exercising like this is something that I've always just liked I used to do home exercises I used to take fitness really really seriously like those of you that know me know this about me and it's something that I just used to enjoy all the time um, I have slacked a couple of times but I've also come back a couple of times that's one thing about me I will stop working out for a couple of months and then just say enough is enough I'm starting to exercise again but one thing that I took more seriously was yoga and I think I did write it down somewhere but anyways yeah the next one is oh another one about an interview I got an interview at dot 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 um, they did not call me back though <laughs> such a shame i was excited i was grateful for just having the chance to have an interview even though they didn't call me back i just felt like okay this is still something that i'm grateful for so i'm gonna write it down and place it on my little junk and that's what i did the next one is i started eating two meals a day and that is a great achievement this to me is something that i've actually stuck to i only have breakfast and dinner or like a brunch and dinner and the reason is I was trying to sort of um, lose a few kgs by portion control and portion control was very very difficult so what I decided was okay let's cut out at least one meal a day so that you don't feel like um, you're doing too much <sighs> anyways yeah so I've just gotten used to eating twice a day so I will wake up do my little routine then have my brunch and then in the evening I have my dinner and we move on and the the next day same thing same thing yeah next one alice released her first book i love the order in which these are going you guys like i'm not even lying i'm literally just picking but the way they're flowing i love that so yeah she finally released the book and i was able to go home thanks to her um and i went to her book launch and since we're talking about the book launch this is a tiny thing she had affirmations at the entrance um, of the place so every person that came in I would hand them out I'd be like hi thank you so much for coming here's an affirmation for you and people would pick it and then read and then they'll be like oh, this is amazing because like that's probably something they wanted to hear from someone else to just reassure them that's one thing I love about affirmations so mine was I am loved and this almost made me cry at the venue because I was like, whoa, this is something that I really, really needed to hear. And yeah, I am loved. I am loved by people I don't know. I am loved by people that know me. I am loved by my family. I am loved by God. I'm loved by everything. I am loved. And you can also be loved. You are loved, in fact. 
you know anyways okay i think let me read just like three more and then we can end this video because i don't want to bore you guys and yeah let's see ah uh, no i don't want to share this one <laughs> I love this this was 21st january i actually wrote down the date i started a yoga challenge called move three days ago and today's session left me feeling energetic and refreshed um like i said i started taking yoga more seriously and i have an accountability partner cowboy if you're watching this hey girl uh so we are accountability partners we just keep each other in the circle in the loop about um what sessions we've done and how it's going all that good stuff uh yeah Ooh, I wrote this. This is amazing. I am a brand ambassador. You guys, I was a brand ambassador. I say it was because um, it was on contract, of course. Um, but I was a brand ambassador for Natural Aura, which is the products that have helped me grow my hair. No lies. Like, no lies detected when they say that their products do work. They work because my hair really grew last year. And um, I hope to get uh, some of the products that are done so that i can continue with the routines because it really just made life so easy for me um yeah next one nope not sharing that <laughs> oh 18th january i got to 400 subscribers yay <laughs> i was so happy like i did not see it coming even though I did want to reach like a thousand subscribers last year, I'm so grateful that so many people are watching my channel and um, are still coming back. Yeah, I love that. Okay. I decided to go through a process of healing. Oh, this. Now, you guys, I think even though I didn't get to a point where I'm like, I am healed because I don't think, can someone really be healed completely? I don't know. I think there's just so much that life throws at you that it's like you heal from a and then life throws something else so now you have to heal from b and then now you have to continue healing for a and continue healing for b before you can heal for c you get what i'm saying so i did reach a stage of healing i did um start talking to some people that i stopped talking to a while ago for like a couple of reasons i called out some people and the stuff that they were doing that were not okay um some friendships ended because i decided to reach out in that sense but i just wanted a peace of mind for myself and i would encourage you guys to do it i did it by writing letters and actually giving them to the friends that were around me and then sending the other ones as like obviously like a text type of way but of course i was explaining to people like okay i'm sending you this because of that da, 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 and this is why this this was my part in this da, 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 this was your part in this and i felt like this could have done da, da, da. you know i was just being open about the situations which is something that is so difficult to do for me because i'm not someone who does well with confrontations and everything you guys i'm still going i don't know why i'm not stopping and then this one is just about me being able to drive to a certain location and back um i was proud of myself because i don't like driving manual cars uh i'm okay with driving an, auto an automatic but i dislike manual cars so me being able to drive on my own felt like a great achievement and i decided to write it down ah this one i am coming up with business ideas i will succeed i have written down a couple of business ideas which i haven't brought to life yet but i would definitely do so once i figure things out and yeah okay so there's a few more but i'm not gonna read them i feel like i have done enough in this video but i just want to encourage you guys to also try this out it's a very great exercise now you don't have to wait until the end of the year to maybe read them you can do it on a monthly basis so just say uh for the remaining days in january i'm gonna write down a couple of things put them in a little jug and then come back to them 
um, at the end of each month. I think it's a very great strategy because it just reassures you that there's so much that you're achieving even though maybe your biggest goals are failing. You get what I mean? Like I was speaking to a friend of mine and I was talking about how, um, I think she put up a status which was talking about how the end of the year is coming and she feels like she hasn't achieved anything at all. And I mentioned to her like, there are some things that we don't realize are achievements because we kind of forget. So whenever maybe you receive um, great news or whatever, take a selfie. If you want, you can just like record the moment, those type of things so that at the end of the year, you can look back at those memories and be like, wait, that happened in January? That happened in February? This happened in March? I honestly thought I didn't do anything with my life this year. You get what I mean? That is honestly me. Like I did not realize I achieved so much in 2022 because one thing that i really really wanted to achieve i didn't achieve you know but for example like a lot of things that people find um stressful is like finances so you might feel like you did not succeed financially but you succeeded emotionally you succeeded physically you succeeded mentally and those are just as important as finances because let's say you get those finances but all these other things are lacking you're gonna see that money isn't everything at the end of the day because you still be unhappy you know but anyways, let me not go on for too long. I feel like I've said what I wanted to say. I said what I said, okay? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Come back for more videos. And I will see you in my next one. But for now, do me a favor and continue loving your crown. If you are not following me on Instagram, make sure to do so at mcm underscore muya and come back for more videos. Okay, bye for real this time.